Hi, in this video I'll show you what are split keyboards, reasons why I use them, and reason why I find them a good idea for typing with 10 finger technique. Here is a typical travel keyboard that has a similar size as any notebook, macbook keyboard. When I'm typing with 10 finger technique on this keyboard, my hands get into this really creepy position. Here is a larger model, the layout is wider, but when typing my hands end up in the same bad position. Whether you are an editor writing a long text or a software developer writing a code, this is not a good position to be for 8 hours. Especially if you are a person with wide shoulders or a tall person like me. I'm around 193 centimeters, that's like 6.3 feet tall. I personally feel wrist pain after 3 to 4 hours holding hands like this, even if I take regular breaks after 30 minutes. A lot of keyboard brands introduce ergonomic keyboards where the keyboard's layout is split into half and curved on a single monolithic board. Yes, to this they are a better solution than regular keyboards, but still not good enough for a tall person. Another problem is that the good models are overpriced and are too big and heavy to travel with. I find that for me the ideal hand position when typing on a keyboard is to have hands parallel to my shoulders. The best way to achieve this is to buy a split keyboard, where layout is split into a physical half, meaning two boards connected via cable. Therefore you can turn them, position them the way is the best for your arms without the need to rely on limited setup provided by manufacturer. Split keyboards are awesome, but kind of pricey. Last time I googled, the cheapest one was like $100. Here is a solution that I'm using. I have two $15 small travel keyboards plugged to a $5 USB hub. Here's an example of me playing type racer. I use half of the layout of one keyboard for left hand and other half of the layout of the other keyboard for right hand. It's the same dynamic solution like split keyboard provides. I ended up with 59 words per minute. My average is around 50. Here is an example of me writing a code in the Ruby programming language. You can go even further with this approach, cut off the keyboard cables, cut off the USB hub cables, solder them together and you have literally a split keyboard. I'm using this two keyboard split for over 4 years now. I'm much more productive. This will save you some money, this will save your wrist from pain and you will have an extra keyboard whenever you need to pair code with someone. 